All right, people, I was thinking it's about time to do an update on my Dragon Gobi. Truth be told, I kind of wanted to wait a little bit because so much has been going on. I mean, there's been a fight, there's some injuries and all sorts of drama going on in the fish tank. And I kind of just wanted to let it calm down before we do an update, you know. But yeah, we're going to get into all that in just a minute. First things first, thank you so, so much for helping me hit 400 subscribers. That is mad. Literally, this time last year, I was on like five subscribers. So considering I'm on 400 now that's yo but yeah anyway i know you're here to hear about the dragon gobi so let's talk about him and people i can't lie the moment i got this dragon gobi it was already stressed you see the decision to put the dragon gobi in a pure freshwater tank was kind of controversial to begin with you see there's so much conflicting information online there are so many people saying that they are brackish species then there are people that are saying they are freshwater then there are people who say they're both there are even some people saying that they're salt water so like in the end I realized if I really wanted to have this Dragon Gobi, um, because there's so much conflicting information, I just kind of had to do an experiment. And people, so far, I've had him for a few months and he's doing great in the freshwater tank. By the way, I've called him Draco, so if I refer to the Dragon Gobi as Draco accidentally, it's, yeah, that's his name in it. But yeah, the water was only really one side of it. Like, at the end of the day, when it comes to experiments like this, it either works or it doesn't. But once it worked, it, you know, it was kind of fine from that side. But there were also other things that were coming into play when it keeps to keep it as dragon gobi and the most important part is probably tank mates now you see the very first day the gobi he was swimming around everywhere he was checking out all the little caves and little corners where you can hide and all of that which also included the cave that mamori was in now people i can't lie i honestly wasn't sure what to expect at this point um i did kind of assume that they would be all right because my mamori ill was perfectly fine with the ghost knife and i didn't see there being a big problem with the dragon gobi so when the dragon gobi went in initially i wasn't too worried now i wasn't able to take much footage either because when i put in a fish that is kind of risky like the dragon gobi i don't really want to be distracted with filming or anything because i'm very focused on looking at their behavior you see if i see any kind of aggression or anything like that i want to be able not able i want to be there to take action straight away basically um i kind of see lily my more ill as the main centerpiece fish so i am trying to build this tank around her if that makes sense so if i do ever get any tank mates that have a problem with my mori ill then i can take them out straight away type of thing so yeah i was watching a lot the dragon gobi went into the cave and initially nothing happened so that was kind of good now when i buy a new fish it's very rare that i actually film the video for this fish on the exact same day so for example with the dragon gobi i filmed that video that i got the dragon gobi the next day not on the initial first day so you know the night before the day i actually got the dragon gobi i was writing my little notes on what to mention in the initial dragon gobi video and um i went to bed kind of late as well it was like one in the morning or something and in the middle of the night i just heard this splashing sound and it woke me up like i was about to fall asleep or whatever and the light was already off and the light in my room was off as well like it was pitch black i couldn't see anything but i knew there was something going on in the fish tank and um, i pulled out my phone and i turned on the light just a little bit to see what was going on and i saw it was a bit dusty as if you know something moved around the gravel or something like that but i wasn't sure what it was so i thought um I'll keep it real people I was very tired at that point so I thought Ugh, I'll deal with it in the morning and I just went back to sleep so the next morning which is the day after I got the dragon gobi which is when I planned to do this initial video I looked into my tank and I was looking for the dragon gobi everywhere um, I was really hoping it wasn't him that made those splashing sounds and I saw the dragon gobi and I immediately realized there was something wrong with him the guy was missing his tail now um it didn't take me long to put two and two together I was, like the day before I saw the dragon gobi you kept going into the cave where my more was in and um yeah the next day the tail was missing it, it doesn't take a genius to figure out what happened i didn't see anything so i can't actually blame my more ill the tail's just kind of gone at the time i was kind of confused i wasn't sure whether i bought the fish like that well i checked the footage after from the first day and it turns out he's like the tail was fine on the first day so whatever happened to the dragon gobi's tail it definitely happened at night time and yeah i was gutted people i honestly didn't know what to do the wound looked bad i mean it, it didn't look like the fish was in pain but at the same time you can't really tell when fish are in pain because they just carry on doing what they're doing i seen a video once of a fish who had a big chunk bitten out of him and he was still swimming about like nothing was wrong so yeah you can't really tell when fish are in pain but i was really hoping that the dragon gobi was fine he seemed to be okay it just he was just missing 
his tail. And I also noticed that he literally went to the other side of the tank, so he was not going anywhere near Lily's side. But yeah, this basically showed me two things. One, this is the first time I've actually seen some real aggression from my Moray Eel. Not with my own eyes, but it's heavily implied that it was my Moray Eel. And before this, it never actually attacked anyone. So apart from my pea puffers, but they were literally bite size. I, I can't blame my eel for that. But yeah, the other thing it showed me is if my Moray eel attacked the dragon Gobi, but it's not attacking the ghost knife, then that means the Moray eel and the ghost knife must truly be friends, which is just so cool, man. I guess in some way the cave was also getting quite overcrowded because there was three of them in there. We don't have that problem anymore, of course, because the dragon Gobi Draco has gone to the other side of the tank now. But yeah, for this first part, it was kind of worrying and I did have to keep my eye out on them because because of course if the fighting continued then I would have to take the dragon goby out. Now it wasn't too bad for the dragon goby because on the other side where he was chilling there was a lot of hiding spaces for it. There's a piece of wood there and some more wood at the back as well where he could potentially hide underneath and all of that. So I wasn't too worried. I was thinking maybe I might add another cave there if it seems like he needs it. But for the time being he seemed fine on that general side. And for the next few days it was actually going fine. But about three days later I came home from work one day and I saw a lot of dust in the tank like when I say dust I mean like debris floating about and the only time that really happens is if fish really moved about on the floor and then move up all the gravel and there may have been some dirt underneath the gravel that came up so it would have to be a lot of movement for that amount of dust or debris to come into the water and there's one day like literally three days later um, when the dragon goby moved to the other side I saw a lot of dust and debris and I was thinking oh, did they have a fight again and oh, at that point i was honestly like nope i'm done if they just had a fight again i'm gonna take the dragon goby out um i'm not gonna let the poor guy get tortured in there by my mori or but I saw the dragon goby and he seemed fine. I mean, his tail was still like injured, but there was nothing else on the actual dragon goby. And that's when my heart dropped. If the dragon goby is fine, what happened to Lily? And immediately I looked at her cave and her head was not poking out like he usually does. And I started freaking out. I literally ran downstairs. I got some blood worms. I defrosted them and I poured them all in one go into the water. So it goes everywhere because that's the only way Lily usually comes out straight away. And um, because she smells like blood worms and i was just thinking please 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 be all right and before we actually carry on the story please remember to like and subscribe it would really help me out guys i'm just trying to grow this channel man but yeah after i put these blood worms in lily came out she came out about halfway sniffed the water realized there was blood worms there and then she came out fully and her body was completely fine so i was sitting there and i was kind of confused because i had no idea what was going on i mean i saw all the debris in the water which was an obvious sign of some kind of major movement or fighting but the dragon goby was fine the moray eel was fine and there was nothing else new in the tank so i was pretty sure everything else was fine as well so after literally checking all the fish and realizing there was nothing wrong i kind of just left it and i actually decided to play some playstation at that point and i was playing my playstation just so you understand like my tv is literally behind my camera right now on that side and my fish tank is here so when i'm playing the game and i'm facing this way i can see the movement in my fish tank and I'm playing my game and I see movement and I see like debris coming up again and literally I think I was in a game of FIFA or something I literally just snapped my head that way I was like what is happening and I realized what it was people and it was no fish fighting it was Draco making his own cave yo listen i couldn't believe it i literally i dropped my controller i didn't even care about the game anymore i rushed over to the corner of my tank and i you know pulled up my phone and started recording this donny was making his own cave using his injured tail to dig a little cave underneath the woods that yo absolute g yo like talk about not letting pain and a disability stop you from doing what you need to do it was so motivational man but yeah i was looking at him doing it and i was thinking i was trying to figure out whether there was a way to help him but uh, there really wasn't i kind of just had to let him do his thing so over the next few days the dragon goby did you know use his tail and pushed all the gravel away and because he was going quite deep a lot of dirt did come out i actually decided to clean my filter a week later because i just felt 
like there was a lot of dirt in the filter from all of that dirt that this goby brought up but yo about a week later the dragon goby made himself a little nice cave underneath the woods and he's been happy ever since it's honestly the most fascinating thing it was crazy man the dragon goby came into this territory he you know got attacked by the moray eel found himself another spot on the other side of the tank and made himself a home and he's been chilling there ever since and yeah that is everything that happened so far with my dragon goby i guess the one thing i didn't mention was the food food wise he pretty much eats everything that i put in the tank whether it's the flake food the prima the sinking pellets or blood worms earthworms that the dragon goby eats literally everything um fresh water wise he seems to be fine and apart from the very first day yeah there doesn't seem to be anything happening really now when it comes to the general care i touched on some of it in my initial dragon goby video and if you want to watch that then click right here